Machine Gun Kelly is living life like a rock star. He went from playing a roadie in a Showtime series to actually playing a rock star in a Netflix movie about the life of Motley Crue. Dogs can't even character, so he doesn't. He doesn't get over to girls. <laughs> and that's not all. MGK has been in multiple Netflix films, including Bird Box. Wait, is Machine Gun Kelly in every Netflix movie now? Hashtag viral. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Although we're still not sure where he went at the end of that movie. Did we ever find out where Machine Gun Kelly took that police woman in Bird Box? No, we're still cruising, waiting for that Bird Box sequel to pop right back in. He's also set to star in Judd Apatow's latest comedy with his buddy Pete Davidson. And besides acting, we can't forget that MGK is living out that rock star lifestyle in real life every night on the road in front of sold out crowds. Flying out to shows on Air Diablo, his private jet. With all the money from acting and rapping, well MGK, he's been able to buy himself some pretty nice things. Like an LA mansion that includes a home studio, a pool table, and a backyard pool. And out front, well he likes to park his blacked out Range Rover and the yellow 79 Camaro that he bought for eight grand which is probably less than he spent on his Cleveland Cavaliers championship ring. Just saying. MGK, of course, he spends a lot of money on tattoos, but hey, he probably saved some money on clothes since the man is never wearing a shirt. Am I right? And while he may not have a fan in Eminem, at least he has a fan in Logan Paul. MGK, congrats on the album. Oh. <laughs> According to CelebrityNetworth.com, Machine Gun Kelly is worth around $8 million. But with his acting career taking off, his beef with Eminem cooling down, and his music continue to take him on sold out tours around the world, well it seems like MGK is setting himself up for a nice increase in that number. But how did MGK go from working at Chipotle wrapping burritos to making millions of dollars? And how does he spend that money? Well we're gonna walk you through all this and more in today's video. People always was like, dude let me get double chicken for single chicken price. I was like, homie, we can do this all day. Like, well, how much do you tell me when to stop? That's actually very generous of the man. What's going on guys? It's your boy Michael McCrudden walking you through the financial come up of MGK. Here for you, of course, on The Rich Life. Now recently we've dropped it before they are famous on his pal Young Blood and some Rich Life videos on Will Smith and Chris Brown. Now you guys gotta let us know who to cover next in the comments down below. And before we start, I got a little trivia question for you guys. What song did MGK used to listen to while working at Chipotle? Look forward to hearing your guesses. Sound off, you know where, and if you get it right, I owe you a follow over on IG. Did I forget to say let's get into this video? Okay, let's get into it. Machine Gun Kelly, he was born Richard Colson Baker on April 22nd, 1990 in Houston to missionary parents who moved their family all over the world. When MGK was young, he lived in Egypt, Germany, Chicago, and Denver before finally taking up residence in Cleveland. Now MGK, he started rapping seriously in high school, releasing mixtapes and making a name for himself through local performances. Now his first big break, it came after winning back-to-back -back competitions at the Apollo Theater making him the first rapper to ever win the contest. Now his mixtape, 100 Words and Running, well it started to gain some online traction and he began to build a loyal fan base. It was during this time that he was working at Chipotle to afford his rent. Plus, he was about to be a father, so MGK, well, he needed a break. Now MGK's music began to get played on Cleveland radio stations and the Cavaliers even had his song about the city playing at their home games. Now MGK, he became a double XL freshman and he signed to Diddy's Bad Boy Records. His single Wild Boy with Wild Waka Flocka went two times platinum, and from there, MGK, he was laced up and off to the races. Now he continued to make money off of his music, creating multiple gold and platinum singles, and the biggest of which came from the Camila Cabello feature, Bad Things, which went three times platinum. But MGK, he made a lot of his money on the road. He was known for his high energy, his mosh pit filled rock star like performances, and the guy would bring a guitar on stage. Not what you expect from a rapper. Greatest performers on earth. Lace up. Lace up. <laughs> He went on tour in support of his debut album, Lace Up. And people all over the internet, they got tattoos because they were so excited. True fans. And over the years, he's been a part of the Warped Tour. Now he's been on the road with Limp Bizkit, Rick Ross, and most recently he's going on tour with Young Thug, Killy, Polo G, and YBN Amir. That's a pretty stacked up lineup. Damn, I didn't know Killy was that big. He's from Toronto, look at him now. But MGK doesn't make all of his money just from music, the man has become a legit actor. I mean he's appeared in Bird Box, which is one of the most streamed Netflix movies of the year. Well, the world's ending baby, so you never know. 
<laughs> he also played the lead role in Netflix's Motley Crue movie, The Dirt. Now, MGK, he played one of the world's most famous rock stars, Tommy Lee. And it probably didn't take much work because he basically lives out that part in real life but he did have to cover up his tattoos. Now we don't know exactly how much Machine Gun Kelly got paid for his role in the movie. I'm not his accountant. What we do know is that some Netflix films, well, they have a $200 million budget and some of their biggest stars like Ryan Reynolds and Will Smith, well, they've earned around $30 million for their work with Netflix. Now MGK, he likely earned himself a few million for these roles. Now either way, he got a shout out from Cardi B and Offset for his work. And you know, that's really all the compensation you need. MGK Machine Gun Kelly, know what I mean? My boy did his thing in that role. Wow, Machine Gun Kelly did so f good. Wow, that is gonna be rich for a long time because after that, they're gonna book him for more movies. MGK told GQ that he also plans on opening up a coffee lounge soon. So that will be yet another source of income for the kid from Cleveland. I have a, my own coffee shop opening up this uh, this year in Cleveland. It's called the 27 Club. The 27 Club is a bunch of artists and, and entertainers and popular personalities that have died at the age of 27. Right. Like, I just want to keep people's memory alive. All right, so how does he spend his dollars? Well, MGK not only has a tour bus where things get wild, but he also occasionally flies to shows on his private jet. He refers to it as Air Diablo. But when he's not on the road, well, he's chilling in his luxurious LA home. Although they might burn the house down before long, you know, if they keep this up. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to ruin my microphone. You see this? Inside the home MGK, he has a cause doll, which go upwards of 10 grand online and a guitar collection that is probably worth around 10 grand as well. Not to mention the drum set. Now MGK invested in his career by building a home studio so that he doesn't have to leave his crib to record. But when he wants to cool off from spitting fire in the booth, well, he's able to hop outside for a dip in the pool. And when he's done in the pool, well, he can go back inside and play pool on his pool table. Not even funny, it's just, it is, it is what it is. That was, um... Okay, it looks like he might need some practice, but hey, the man is on the road most of the year, so I'm sure he doesn't have a lot of free time to practice pool. Apparently, he also needs to work on his boppet skills. Dad, here! <laughs> It looks like MGK is a great father though. Now, of course, MGK, he keeps his awards on full display, as he should. They gave me a Disney award, can you believe that? Yeah, no, I can't actually. That should, that should be illegal. I know. And I'm sure his daughter's proud of that Disney award. Now, MGK, his closet is filled with designer and a lot of nice shoes. Now, in terms of cars, well, MGK, he drives an all-black Range Rover, and prices for cars like this, they start at around 100 k But MGK, he let us know that he doesn't drive a black Honda 98 Civic. I'm pretty sure I just got into an argument with Machine Gun Kelly in traffic. Does anyone know if he drives a faded black 1998 Honda Civic? Hashtag, let's talk about it. It was probably me in traffic, but no, it was not me in a black 1998 Honda Civic. The other car sitting in his driveway is a yellow 79 Chevrolet Camaro, but he also told GQ that he doesn't have a driver's license, so I'm not sure how he's riding around with such a big smile on. I, I, I'd be kind of nervous. And it did get him in trouble at least once. In an interview, MGK said that at one time, there was one time I got pulled over, I don't have a driver's license, but I was driving a friend's car and I had a gun. Obviously, I told them there was a gun in the car. They put me and my friend, who was this girl I was speaking to at the time, in the cop car and we hooked up in the back. Like I said, the guy's an absolute rock star. Now he did GQ's 10 things I can't live without, but he didn't mention the prices of his most essential items. So we'll go through how much some of those things actually cost. Now the red Gucci bag, it can sell for up to five grand online. The Noir 29 Cologne, it costs around hundred bucks. And currently you can buy a Nintendo Switch for around 200 bones. Is bones a thing? I don't know. Now MGK, he also spends a lot of his money on tattoos because as you know, well the man's covered in them. I have scars here. Yeah, those are from broken Jameson bottles. You want to touch that? I do and I don't. One of his best tattoos is of a double-decker bus, which he got hit by. The bus was going full speed. The whole front of the windshield was cracked, like spider web. I woke up on the ground. My clothes were ripped. I tried to, like, run away. I was, like, so messed up that I thought I did, like, a crime or something. That's how you know MGK has been through some dark things. And when you can casually brush off getting hit by a double-decker bus, you know, like it's nothing. Now MGK, he even has no problem getting his nipple tatted. Yeah, this is pretty fun right here. <laughs> that hurt me just watching it. So it seems like MGK is living a pretty nice lifestyle. He's 
come a long way from listening to Mrs. Officer by Lil Wayne while making some Chipotle burritos. And there you have your answer for the question off the top. Who got it right? I owe you a follow over on IG. All right, guys, that's all I got for you in this video. We're wrapping this one up here. Be sure to let us know who's next in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in another video. Go!